Hey, what's going on guys? It's Abyss and today we are back with another Deep Wilderness adventure video and before we jump into it, I just want to let you guys know we're going to be running another Dragon Claw giveaway on this video. If you guys want a chance to win a pair of Dragon Claws, all you need to do in order to enter is just comment down below with your username and of course press that like and subscribe button. Now without further ado, let's just jump right into the beginning and I hope you guys enjoy. I started off doing some Pekang by the Chaos Altar like I normally do, and I came across this guy named XX Mia. Immediately, I could tell by the way he was talking to me in the chat that he was a troubled individual, so on top of taking him for his set, I definitely wanted to shut him up because for some reason his ego is just way too out of line. As expected, after shattering this noob's ego, he decided to call his clan to back him up because otherwise he probably would have died before he made it to level 30 to teleport away. With just three Ceridoman brews remaining, they did manage to get a TB, and honestly, any clan under these circumstances should be able to kill me. After about 2 minutes of these struggle pickers failing to do any damage to me whatsoever, I ended up getting a box and then teleporting away safely, and now looking back on this clip now that it's already happened, it makes perfect sense why the guy in the beginning was forced to be a bait, because if he was on me, he probably would have ended up dying somehow, that guy was just horrible and he pretty much fits in with these guys perfectly. After tanking that monstrosity of a PK team, I decided to go and do some high risk PKing in the high risk worlds, and the first fight we're going to be doing is a Darok hybrid fight with a 1 bill risk. And just like that, we managed to bag a one bill kill. Clearly, after my first declaw spec hit all zeros, he was trying to axe me and didn't think that I would go for the double claw. Luckily for me, I had pid and I managed to secure it. And there it is, guys. One bill in the bag, and we're going to go again for a rematch. The second fight that we decided to do was, yes, another Ellie risk. But this time, instead of Darox, we're going to be using max strength, which is Bandos, Primordial Boots, Nezanot Face Guard, and, well, just about everything else you can bring.
Now that has to be one of the most lucky and unlucky kills in my entire RuneScape career. Now if you guys notice, he did have the first hit on me and I was under 80 HP, which means his spec definitely could have finished me off before I even had the chance to whack him. On top of that, my AGS hit was definitely the max hit, I even tested it. 60 is the best I can do in this gear. So I had to manage to max hit him on the HP that he was exactly on after surviving his AGS spec in order to have gotten that kill. And we did manage to pull it off. Kinda lucky, but at the same time, it is what it is. RuneScape's an RNG game, and this time we came out on top. So that's two Elijah Spirit Shields we've PK'd now. Let's go for number three, and this is the last fight we're gonna do. There's really nothing that needs to be said about that kill, it was just executed absolutely perfectly and we did secure the third Elijah Spirit Shield PK of the video. Now if you guys took a look at those hits, that's 110 damage, we managed to hit a 34 Ice Barrage into a 76 AGS. There's really nothing that he could have done in that situation, maybe he could have eaten or something a little bit faster but there was almost no time to react to that and once again, there it is, 3 AGS PKs, we call that a hat trick. Now that we've secured about 4 bill from doing those Edgeville wrist fights, let's get back to some Deep Wilderness PKing, which is what this channel is all about. Quick side note, if you've enjoyed any of the PK clips you've seen so far in this video or any of my other videos, just remember that they've all happened first over on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash abyss. I stream Deep Wilderness PKing every single day and I try and get to know all of my viewers in each of my different communities. So I'm really trying hard for 2021 to get all my communities together and I'd love to see and meet some of my YouTube audience over there as well. So just check out all the links in the description or just go to twitch.tv slash abyss and I'll see you on the day that you join because... Like I said, I stream every single day.
And alrighty guys, it is that time to pick a comment from the previous video and select a random winner for the Dragon Claw giveaway. We're going to load up all the comments here. There were quite a few because the last video honestly did really, really well. So just bear with me for a moment here. And one of you guys is going to be walking away with a pair of Dragon Claws. And it looks like Zerkers, his in-game name is T. Travis. Listen up, bro. All you need to do is find a way to contact me. All of my links are down in the description. You can join my Discord server, message me on Twitter, message me on Instagram, come to my Twitch live stream, or just come and trade me in game and I have a pair of Dragon Claws waiting for you. And that is it for the video today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I tried my best to include a whole bunch of different PK clips and tank tests. And of course, we made some money doing those wrist fights in Edgeville. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to slap it with a fat thumbs up. Leave a comment down below with your username to enter in on the giveaway. Check out all the links in the description. And of course, subscribe to the channel. We're coming up very close on 50,000. That would be a huge milestone to hit. So if every one of you guys make sure to press that, we will get it in no time. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video and peace out.